So another useful application is the barcode scanner. So again, we'll go through installing an application. So there's a menu there in the middle. Somewhere in the list of applications will be the market, which is a little Android guy with a shopping bag. And you can search for, um, so you can search for barcode scanner. And it'll probably be the top one there. It's got that little, it's got that little thing that's a laser scanning uh, barcode. And it's got five stars and it's free. So let's look at that. Uh, here's a description of it. We can go check out the comments. Oh, awesome. Love it. Doesn't work. Yeah. Um, Here's somebody asking a good question. Why does it require the rights to read and write contact data? Well, it's because it can share contacts. Um, there's more people saying it didn't work. Some people saying it did work. Some people are giving it five stars. It seems like a mixed bag, but I use this one. I happen to use this application. I like it, so I suggest you install it. It seems to want a lot of stuff, right? The contacts data, network communication, storage. Um, that's a little scary. This is really useful and I use it. It seems to be okay. So we'll say okay. Uh, it's downloading it. It's installing it. it. Successfully installed it. So we can pull down the little notification bar. And there it is. Successfully installed. So let's run it. So like some apps, it has a little tutorial at the beginning. It says you can scan product codes, or you can scan QR codes. Um, okay. And then it's going to start scanning. So the QR codes look like this. So what you do is you put them behind your phone where the camera can see them. And... Um, You'll see it's trying to capture it. So you just kind of, if it can't see, you just sort of move it around until it sees it. And then when it gets it, hello, mom. It's not cool. Um, so one cool thing is that um, some applications, like like here's the, the geocaching.com page about their mobile application, and they put at the bottom a QR code, which makes it nice and convenient. So we can go ahead and scan that right off of the like your computer monitor or something. And this time you'll see it's a it's a market URL. So if I click on it, uh, if I say open a browser, I guess, then it'll take me right to the market page for the geocaching.com app, and then I can read all about it, and I can buy it if I want, and I can read the comments and um, there you go. So that's how, and then this one's pretty useful. So you can do the shortcut. Remember how you do that? You click and hold, and then you can drag it around and drop it wherever you want. And then if you want to scan a QR code, you just hit that little button. There we go. That's scanning QR codes. And then when I send you Jam, you can you can scan the QR codes on it. Awesome. All right, that's that one.